What's going on guys? Endless Calamity here. Today, I don't have any of my friends. My mom's here, she's helping me just carry some trade-ins, got a bunch of shit, because I'm out of town right now. We are at my favorite physical media store in the current modern age called Zia Records, baby. This is the one of my favorite places of all time. Gives me like the best freaking finds, obscure stuff, so let's go in see what shit we can find. All right guys, I know I'm gonna get copyright striked out of my ass for this video, but I don't care, I'm not making money anyways, but let me go to the 0.5 lens. This is why Sea Records is my favorite place of all time. Aisles and aisles of freaking shelves of movies. A ton of records yonder over there. Books everything I collect and everything that can make me bankrupt. So I'll update y'all when I find stuff I want. Quick update, I'm just barely halfway through the comedy freaking section and I already need a cart. Yeah, this is what happens when you live in a small town of just Walmarts and you come to a big store like this, you have no control. So yeah, update. They don't have uh, baskets or carts here, so I had to drop off my first load. So whenever I get loads, I'm going up there. All right, I'm literally the happiest man alive right now. Redemption from last. Never mind. No redemption for me. Well, back to the hot drawing board. Behold, the most sexy slipcover of all time. The freaking Nightmare Before Christmas 4K. Been wanting this one for a bit, so time to get it. All right, guys, made it back home. Like hours later, long drive, a lot of stuff we had to do, a lot of stops. So now here's the haul that's probably bigger than it should have been. All right, got a big stack of just like regular Blu rays there, a nice little 4K and steelbook section there. And we got uh, albums, I'll go through these first because like you guys probably didn't click on the freaking video of the C Records, but here we go anyways for those who are interested. So we got David Bowie outside. I mean, I, yeah, these are all brand new, so these are the most exp expensive, unfortunately. And then we got Dave Bowie, Earthling, Dave Bowie, uh, Space Oddity, that's all the new records. And then good deals on the other ones we have. We got Robert Plant, five bucks. We got some Deep Purple for three dollars. And then one of my favorite Little Feet albums for six. And some 10cc, my first 10cc album for five. Good stuff, and now let's move on to the Blu-ray stack right here. So we got Pulp Fiction, I've never seen. My friends get on my ass about not seeing it all the time. So now it's the excuse to actually do it, so yeah. And I know it's a cult classic, it's one of the best movies of all time, so time's now. Then we got another one that people get on my ass for not seeing, Reservoir Dogs. Four bucks, can't beat that, so yep. And I know there's a 4K steelbook, but these are just great little, just a little gateway to the movies, just be like, all right, I can watch them, and if I really like it, I'll get that awesome steelbook. Another one I've never seen, or three I haven't seen, we got a uh, first three paranormal activity movies. Um, I know these are good. I know of a really big fan base following them, so excited to check them out. And then one I've seen once that I really like is Friday. I don't have it in my collection yet, so no brainer to get that. And here's one I've never seen, uh, but I love Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. It's the other guys came out before Daddy's Home. Those the Daddy's Home movies are pretty funny, just pretty entertaining and just a good time. So this looks awesome. And then the kind of slowly complete my american pie collection we got the book of love and reunion yeah guilty pleasure because i don't know like after a certain point these movies kind of get old but i like them they're just a fun time just to shut off your brain and just just sit back and watch a movie and then we got one i've never seen but i've seen the 40 year old virgin so and i've never seen knocked up but forgetting sarah marshall i mean it should look be good it's a, it's a cult classic I've, I've heard so yeah and then shout out to wet movie one we have empire records just a movie about like the downfall of physical media and trying to revive it so one of his favorite movies so yeah down to check this out and then here's another kind of guilty pleasure we got blended with a 
Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore, like it didn't get that many positive reviews when it first came out. So it's just a fun time. Don't judge me, man. I love my rom com sometimes. One I've never seen, but I love Robin Williams. We have RV, uh, pretty good uh, cast too. So we'll see about that one. And then shout out to Steelbook Obsessed. We have the Simpsons movie. I really love the movie. Of, uh, I don't own it yet, so I bought it. And uh, Steelbook Obsessed, he switched the blue case out for a yellow case. So I'm going to do just that, and it looks badass. So hell yeah, halfway there. Then one I just first uh, watched for the first time uh, lately is Step Brothers with Will Ferrell and John C. Riley. Amazing comedy. Like, this is just like... Yeah, this is a classic for the ages, man. Recommend it highly if you haven't seen it. And then here's one of my favorite comedy movies of all time. We got The Mask with Jim Carrey. Such an awesome movie. Jim Carrey, like, he's he's one of my favorite actors in general. Like, he could play serious roles. He could freaking do it all. Great stuff. And then one of my favorite horror movies. We got Terrifier. So happy to own this on physical media. Like, this movie, like, shocked the hell out of me. Just, like, man, like, damn, this doesn't get as gruesome as this. <laughs> Second one wasn't bad. I'll have to get it sometime on physical media, but glad to have the first one. Next, we have Just Go With It with uh, Adam Sandler. Never seen it, but Adam Sandler, top three comedy actors. So, yeah, that's why I got that. And then another one that I hear is really good is Anger Management with Adam Sandler and uh, uh, Jack Nicholson. Um, yeah, that's really good. So got that one too. All right, last stack. We got, uh, you've already seen the clip, but the Nightmare Before Christmas 4K, the slip. The slip is like one of my favorites of all time. It's embossed. It has a nice shine to it. And this movie will look amazing in 4K, probably, because, like, all, like, animated movies do, for the most part. So, yeah, so happy to get that one. And then this one, I was rushing, and I accidentally bought the freaking slipcover, but I'm glad I did, because the steelbook is just kind of meh to me now. Because it's a nice steel uh, slipcover. This is the Mean Girls 40th anniversary. And we got a freaking amazing pink case for 4k when have you ever seen a pink case for really anything so i mean except for like the legally blonde movies on dvd but we got the 4k uh pink case like that's just awesome love that movie you've watched it for the first time like a month ago classic then here's another one freaking kill me if you want to but freaking fnaf movie kind of sucked compared to willie's wonderland like willie's wonderland of nicholas cage it's awesome. I got the 4K Steelbook recently. Just traded in my uh, Blu-ray copy, the standard copy. And yeah, the Scream Factory 4K Steelbook. It's freaking awesome. The colors pop. It looks way better in person. Like online, I'm just like, eh. It's pretty basic looking, but man, the colors do pop. And then another Steelbook I've been wanting for a while. We got the regular Jeepers Creepers, the regular Blu-ray. I don't think the movie's in 4K yet, but got Jeepers Creepers. Fuck the director. But this movie's awesome. Just kind of separate the art from the artist with this one, you know? Like, this movie's just a classic horror. Like, it's really good. Yeah, Jeebus Creepers. All right. Last but not least, but probably least to a lot of people, we have the Leprechaun Collection, the Blu-ray Steelbook, the whole, all eight movies. This one came out uh, last, like, Halloween season, and, like, during that time, I was like, Eh, I'm not really in the physical media right now, so I'll fucking pass. So glad I got it now. Love the disc colors; they're nice. Um, but yeah, these movies are just a fun, cheesy time. I've seen a few of them, but yeah. Anyways, that was the chaos that happened today. Uh, if you liked the video, please consider liking the video if you liked it, um, and subscribe. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Bonus clip time. We have the Doritos Fiery Mango Baja chips. 
I want to try these bad boys for a while now. Ooh, they smell good. They smell like uh, the Pocky uh, Chili Lime ones that are my favorite chip of all time. So let's see. Hopefully it's a good substitute maybe. Damn, these are good actually. Hmm. Yeah.